Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Digital Tutorial. Integer to Roma is a coding problem we are going to solve this time. So give an integer, convert it to a Roman numeral. Input is guaranteed to be within the range from 1 to 3999. So we see here this coding problem description is very short. So it's basically about converting a Arabic numeral to Roman numerals. So to solve this coding problem, we need to get some knowledge about what is a Roman numeral. So Roman numerals, look at this wiki page. So the numerical system represented by new Roman numerals originate in ancient Rome and remain the usual way of writing numbers throughout Europe well into the late Middle Ages. So just as the name indicates, the Roman numerals were originally developed in ancient Rome, and it was popular in Europe in late Middle Ages. So late Middle Ages, we see here, is like a 1 to 50, uh, from the period 1 to 50 to 1 500. So it's like several year, hundred years ago. So it was popular in Europe at that time. So probably nowadays we don't see often that people use a Roman numerals to indicate or calculate the numbers. But if we like uh, travel to Europe, uh, we go to some historical relics, and we can see some like uh, historical buildings, those statues. There are some like uh, Roman numerals being printed on the buildings, printing on the walls. So we can still sense of history, like uh, at that time, how people use uh, Roman numerals to indicate or calculate the numbers. So what is popular today is the Arabic numerals, also called Hindu Arabic numerals, like those 10 digits we are very familiar with. Like for today's this coding problem, it's about converting this Arabic numerals to Roman numerals. So like we see here, Roman numerals are based on seven symbols. So if we read in English, like those letters I, V, X, L, C, D, M, so that they are matching with the Arabic numbers 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, 1000. So with these basic symbols, we can indicate some other numbers. So like here, we have this Roman numerics, these seven symbols, I, V, X, L, C, D, M. Each of them match with 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 10,000. So to use these basic symbols, we can indicate some other numbers. So like if we want to indicate 3, so that's I, I, I. Put 3 like I symbols here to indicate the I use the Roman numerics. And if we have like a 51, so that will be the closest, largest uh, Roman numerics. That's a L here and um, plus I here to indicate um, 51. And like uh, if we have uh, like um, 405 here, 5, 505 here, that's a D plus 5, D V. Um, and there's a special case. So that's a 4 and a 9. So for the special case, 4 and 9 is not indicated in this addition patterns. So they are not indicated in special cases. If we try to follow the previous pattern like this addition to indicate the 4, you may think about that's a just a put the 4 eyes here. But that's not correct because people find that if you use that like four eyes to indicate the four, it may be confusing when combined with um, to get a large number. So instead of using this uh, addition patterns, so for the four is using the subtraction pattern. So put the I before the closest uh, largest symbol here, that's a IV. And uh, similarly for the nine, it will be the I before x, that's a 10 here. So like a 4, 9, that's a special case. So we also need to write it here. So that's a 
four uh, we that's a four i i we that's four i x that is a nine also for the multipliers for the four and nine like a forty ninety that would be also spatially handled that uh, would be x l and uh, x c and also for the 400 900 that would be c d c m so with these seven basic symbols plus this six uh, symbols for the four nine patterns we can indicate all other numbers so like a way for if we want to convert in the Arabic number 2020, that would be first we do the matching. So we do the matching. We need to find the largest possible Roman numerics we can use. So that's uh, we see we can find the 1000 here. So remaining the 1020. So if we find the one matching and we add to like a final string here. So final output, we print out this M, and we can still print another 1000 here. So we plus this MM, the remaining XX, that's a 20. So MMXX indicates a 2020. And similarly, like for 170, uh, 1776, this one, this number, first find the matching the largest possible Roman numerics that's 1000 remaining 776 so we put the M at the beginning and the 70, uh, 776 largest the one that's a 700 so in the hundreds digits 700 would be D C C here and uh, remaining is 76 so remaining is 76 and we keep minus 70 that's a closest one so 70 that would be the LXX and that's a last one is a 6 6 is a VI here so like the number like a 4 or 9 with um, those spatial cases and if that's a 499 how we can indicate so we can similarly find the largest closest one that's 400 so remaining 99 and uh, we find the one we add to the input output so that's a CD for the 400 and 99 so find the one that's 90 90 that's a uh, XC and the nine, the final one, that's I X. So you see, we can use this uh, Roman basic symbols to indicate the number. And if we look at this operation, so it's basically about first doing the like a searching, matching to find the the match the possible largest possible Roman numerics, and we find the one. We also use the original Arabic number to minus that value the Roman numerics indicate and use the remaining to keep subtraction until it's reached to the end reach to the end should be like a zero so like um, this when if we wrote this finish it should be reach to the zero at the end so it's like doing the matching and the structuring and uh, keep abstending the adding the human numerics to the final output. Okay, we see these uh, examples and we know that these operations from Arabic numbers to Roman numerics. Now we need to convert this operation to the coding, to the codes that could be performed these operations. So let's go back to the coding. So here, as we just uh, indicate, we have um, like a Arabic numbers and also the Roman Arabic numbers. 
we need to set up those basic symbols. So every game we can have a like a values. So values values we can name as the Arabic. So Arabic that's an array of integers. So it should have a as we indicate that's a seven basic symbol plus a six four nine um, four nine symbols. So let's start with the largest one. 1,900, 500, 400, 100, 90, 50, 40, 10, 9, 5, 4, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 basic one and also similarly we need to match the Roman numbers so Romans that will be new string so use a double code to indicate that's a string so that match with the, this Arabic numbers so basic one that's um, M for 1000 and CM for 900 500 would be the D and the 400 400 is a C D and the 100 is a C and the, and the 90 that's a X C and the 50 that would be L 40 that's a subtraction pattern also X L x before l and the 10 is x 9 is i x and the 5 is v 4 is i v and the last one is the i that's just a 1 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 also the 13 Roman, Roman numerics, basic Romanic, so match with the Arabic um, numbers. So after this, we can do in the operation. To do the operation, we can use a string builder. So string builder will help us to keep adding the Roman numbers. String builder. And uh, we have a for loop here. So for loop is that we are going to do the subtraction. So int i star with zero, i is less than Arabic star nth, and i plus plus. So inside this for loop, we have this subtraction, subtraction at a while, long, minus this arrow fix i is greater or equal to zero so you still have rena remaining so we can use the largest uh, roman symbols we can add to the output so that would be let's be the append the And the Romans I also we need to subtract the origin value so now now minus error fix I and after that we can Use this string builder because whenever we add to a new Roman character, we add to the string builder, and finally we can just use a string dot uh, string builder dot to string to output this this uh, final string. So we see here, uh, that's a final output. So looks good here. So we can click submit.
OK, accept it. So we successfully converting the Arabic number to the Roman numerics. So it's a very interesting coding problem that um, we look at some history contents and um, we converting the uh, Arabic numbers to Roman numbers. And we see the process like people like converting the the history like people how indicate the numbers so it's a really history about the maps so it's very interesting to broaden the region and look at how people uh, involve the ideas so thank you for watching thank you for subscription to good taker uh, follow up the youtube channel so let's uh, keep making progress together see you next time